it is pedal. This is the manual. Now we are going to start the machine and check if everything is good with it. To fill the bobbin, first we will start from this area. This is the space of the spool stand. We will go like that. Make a X shape over here. And then Now we will move this whole like thread like that. Now we cut the extra thread over here. Looks good. Now we will move it like this one and this will come out. This one has on the side small uh, thread cutter which you can we use to cut it like that. Now we are going to put it in. Before I do, I have to make sure that you guys know how to put it in. Put it in like th this area you see we have to move the thread like that here is another uh, thread cutter but I will not cut the thread over here put it back in slide it in this is extra storage over here where you can use these things to put it in and then slide it's a really good space for the machine stuffs. Now we are going to thread it. This one has a needle threader. As you can see, this is the needle threader over here. Yes, we will put it down. You see over here, we'll just put the thread from here. It's holding the thread now and it's gonna pull it in. You see? Now we will put the thread out from the bobbin area. Now we will start the stitches. 
how to we will start from number three four five six we will check all of them but before I do that let's check the settings make sure that needle is on the up, up here on the highest position and the knob is going to turn at three and stitches are these are the length of the stitches so I want I am keeping it in the middle this is the width of the of the zigzag stitch it's number five and these are the tension setting uh, knob over here this is in the middle of five I like almost more little bit more than four is perfect Let's see uh, how this machine works now. The zigzag is perfect. Now I have just changed, I just changed the thread color because it's totally blue colors. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. So I just changed it. Now I'm going to start with the different stitch. Number four everything I have put same just change the no number of the uh, stitch this is number four this looks good too now I'm going to change the stitch again number five Whenever change the stitch and you just have to twist it, always make sure the needle is in in the fabric in the downright position. This is good too. Now I'm going to change number six. I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to change the side. Even these stitches looks good. I'm going to check all of them one by one. Now I'm going to go number seven. Everything is same. I have changed nothing. Even this is beautiful. Now I'm going to go number eight. So I'm taking needle up, now changing number eight. Even this is beautiful. This can be thick. I did not change the length of the stitch that's why it's like that if i'm making this one and i want exactly like this design i need to move it a little bit go down this is the length so even very very short one like i'm putting it on app let's see how does it come out See how this one looks number eight I only changed the length of the stitch now I'm going to go number nine so first I twisted the fabric over here needle on upright position and going on nine now I will change this time a little bit on one and a half this is this is the length of the stitch see how it came out this is number nine now I'm going to go on number ten now
this is you can see this is number 10 stitch now I'm going to move to the number 11 now line by line I'm checking all the stitches of this machine I am not changing anything I'm just changing the number now number 11 Okay, looks like the thread of the bobbin finished. I just refilled the bobbin again. I'm going to finish my stitch. See how beautiful it looks. So I'm going to go a little bit further now. But before I do, I will put it down and needle in highest position and then I will do number 12 you can see these stitches this is number 12 now we are gonna go on number 13 but before I go I will again go a little bit down with this number I'm gonna go on 13 and going a little bit on F F we are going so that we can have the same exact design See how good this it looks like a leaf wavy area exactly the same it's really beautiful now I am going to go to number 14 and again I did not move anything I am only putting it on F so that I can have the exact same design because other stitches are a little bit different but this one it has very very near uh, lines of the stitches so that's why we are, I'm putting the very the shortest one over here on F middle and high moving it to 14 see how it went okay now I'm gonna now these are the stitches are really important one you can see these stitches are like on SS and if you go on the knob over here it goes under here but plus you see number 14 and then number 27 so right now the setting is on number 14 now how do we change the setting of this SS this SM2700 machine has that setting over here. If we keep going like that, you will see SS over here again. You see SS over here? That's the knob over here. If you move forward, it will go back to the length of the stitch. But when we have to use the number from number 15 to 27, this number 15 to 27 stitch over here we need to go on SS in order to have the perfect design let's see how it goes now I have moved it on SS and needle is on highest position I'm going backwards now so first we will start from 27 These are the fancy stitches over here very beautiful very cute ones now I'm going to go backwards so this was 27 now I'm going on 26 just make sure that when you're doing that SS on top of this knob is here 
going backwards now. This is stitch 26. This design is almost the same like 27 just a little bit difference over here now we are gonna go back now 25 number 25 see I did not change the setting of any of these only this especially for these kind of uh, stitches we need proper width so this one is I guess 5 mm so this is number 5 over here this is 5 mm so total width of this uh, stitch will be 5 mm okay looks like uh, by mistake I did uh, went back to 26 <laughs> anyways now we got to know I'm gonna go back to like 25 and, and I forgot to change the stitch looks like going up number 25 I'm not gonna again you see these stitches very beautiful and neat and this is number 25 now I'm gonna go back to number 24 I am NOT changing anything just remember that number 24 number 24 very beautiful and neat it's very good now I'm going to number 23 very beautiful embroidery over here number 23 now I'm going to go on number 22 needle high position on number 22 on SS now I'm going to start This is number two, 22. Very beautiful and neat design over here. This is a very good machine. I like this one a lot. Now I'm gonna go back to number 21. It's almost like the number 26, number 27. Let's see how it goes over here. Okay, number 21, let's see. I'm number 21 I forgot to do that again number 21 very beautiful and neat and very cute design over here now I'm going to go back to number 20 now little high number 20 and I'm gonna go start it very beautiful one let me tell you one thing that I did not use any fabric stabilizer under there it's just 100% pure cotton fabric this is 200 thread count 
प्योर का हंड्रेड परसेंट कॉटन फैब्रिक सो दिस इज गोइंग बैक टू नंबर नाइनटीन नाउ This is number नाइनटीन stitch. Very beautiful. Now I'm going to go on number एटीन Very beautiful and cute. This is number एटीन Now I'm gonna go back to number सेवेंटीन now. Number seventeen. Let's start. This is number seventeen. Now I'm gonna go on number sixteen. All the stitches looks great. You can see over three lines of each thread, number sixteen. Very beautiful, very, very attractive. Number sixteen. Now we are going to number fifteen. This was number fifteen. Very good. Let me show you the all the stitches of this machine. This is hundred percent cotton. You can see the back of the all the stitches. Now I am going to use cover this and check the straight stitches. Now before we do anything, now we only left number two stitch. I am going. I am back on number two, and I will move this knob back to two and half. And then this number five is the width of the stitches, but if you see when i move this the needle goes back in the middle position over here if i go on the back to five it goes on the left side when i go backwards like that it comes in the middle if i go on one the needle will move to the right side now we have we are gonna do in the middle now. so i'm on 2.5 in the middle and i'm going to check the straight uh, straight stitches now so i'm taking this fabric again the we, the one we just worked on This is the lever for the back stitch. I am here locking the stitch, and I will little bit move forward, same way, and connect my stitch on the upper side. I just start over here. I'm locking my stitch. I left 
this side open so that I can flip my embroidery part and make it you can see that it's inside and this is backwards I will now just flip it I'm cutting the corners so that I don't have very uh, I have a neat and clean corners you hear how much I'm cutting over here is that all four corners I'm not cutting too much only till over here now I'm going to flip it now I have flipped it and it looks like a square cushion cover you can use it like that make a design like this and make a cushion cover but I'm not making cushion cover and and if you fill it inside it will become a cushion itself but I'm making a napkin right now so let's show you how does it work now I it's too layered so let's see how this one goes and one more thing before we do here is the needle place is in the middle so this time I am going to move my needle a little bit on the right moving this knob over here I did it on zero and I'm moving a little bit the length of the stitch a little bit longer so it's three and a half total on this knob now I'm going to start from here I'm going to make my napkin neat and clean now I'm going to move forward a bit this is on the corner and help my help my uh, corner of the napkin a little bit forward move forward So you can see this is the open area from where we flipped the whole thing up now I'm gonna sew it on top of it so just to lock it we made a napkin now this is how you i checked all the stitches this is the part of so you can see i tried all the stitches one by one and all the stitch, uh, stitches uh, came out perfect there's nothing wrong with the machine it's perfect for the beginner or some or the people who likes to sew